You're watching American Artifacts on American History TV, and joining us in our studios is the co-author of the book, What Fools These Mortals Be, Michael Alexander Kahn. The book came out back in 2014. Thank you for being with us. This is the first cartoon ever depicting a presidential candidate as a bomb thrower and an ar anarchist. Um, and they were suggesting that William Jenny Bryan was dangerous to the United States of America. And they had an entire theme in 1896 arguing that, yes, McKinley is no good, but you have to vote for McKinley because Bryan is dangerous to America. Calling him a demagogue. Calling him a demagogue. Um, and he was a bit of a demagogue in the sense that he was a great order and people were absolutely enthralled with him. And William Jennings Bryan back on the ballot in 1900. Yes. Uh, William Jennings Bryan was the gift that keep on giving to the Republicans. In 1900, um, in 1896, he burst on the scene and, and he was defeated. And the, th the thought was, well, he's going to be gone. Well, 1900, not only wasn't he gone, this is one of my favorite cartoons because the imagery is so stark. It's a beautiful cartoon, beautifully drawn. The picture of Brian is perfect. You have the snake uh, saying populism, basically saying the populist party has swallowed the Democratic Party and the Democrat Party as we know it is no more. So Puck, the publication, continues to go back to William Jennings Bryan during the election at the start of a new century in uh, the start of the 20th century, and you have this, the pygmies attack, but the government still lives. Right, and so here the, the victory of the Republican Party over Puck is complete. Uh, the, the Puck is now 100% behind uh, William McKinley, and it's suggesting that McKinley is for sound money and expansion, and those are two things that Puck was in favor of. Uh, sound money being they were against silver, they were in favor of the gold standard, and expansion being, uh, this was the time of the uh, Spanish-American War and other conquests, and the idea here being that McKinley was in favor of America keeping their conquests, and that's what we should be doing. 